Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, welcome to Cultural Diplomacy. I'm Wahyu Nikartika Sari, the lecturer of Cultural Diplomacy. As, as one part of international relations that studies management of relations between states and countries, cultural diplomacy force studies these relations by using cultural aspect. As diplomacy, which has the main purpose is to enable states to secure the objective of their foreign policy without resort to force, propaganda and law, Cultural diplomacy utilizes cultural aspect to propose the national interest in international community. The cultural aspect that are utilized can be as mentifact, sociifact, and artifact, which are manifest into ideas, values, symbols, norms, customs, and others. Cultural diplomacy is also considered a tool to show the level of civilizations of a nation. So cultural diplomacy becomes a means of nations building for prestige. In fact, the process of constituting a nation is actually a series of cultural process. In the cultural process, every actor involved always interacts with other actors and their surroundings. Countries that are in the process of culture also interact with other countries and other actors. Cultural diplomacy is a way of managing international relations or management between nations through cultural means. For this reason, it is important to explore cultural understanding as a means of fostering the nations or nation building, a means of political development, a means of formatting foreign policy, as well as a means of fostering world peace. Cultural diplomacy is a part of soft power so that this culture studies the political manipulations and exploitations of culture as a means of foreign policy. What must be emphasized is that cultural diplomacy is not merely a performance of the arts so that at the end of the lecture, students are expected to be able to analyze cultural phenomena as political actions, not merely as artistic performance. Cultural diplomacy topics are all things that are considered macro and micro as the empowerment of cultural aspect in foreign policy, including arts, tourism, sport, traditions, technology, expert agencies, and others. For that, we can link it with multi-track diplomacy. Multi-track diplomacy is a conceptual way to view the process of international peacemaking as a living system. It looks at the web of interconnected activities, individual, institutions, and communities that operate together for a common goal, a world at peace. Multi-track diplomacy uses three nine tracks, such as track one, government, or peacemaking through diplomacy. Track two, non-government, professional, or peacemaking through conflict resolution. Track three, business, or peacemaking through commerce. Track four, private citizen or peacemaking through personal involvement. Track five, research, training, and educations or peacemaking through learning. Track six, activism or peacemaking or through advocacy. Track seven, religions or peacemaking through faith in action. Track eight, funding or peacemaking through providing resources. And the last, track nine, communications and the media or peacemaking through information. So students, this is a picture of the multi-track diplomacy. 
So, as a closing remarks for this presentation, let me highlight the term. Cultural diplomacy is a way of managing international relations or management between nations through cultural means. That's all about cultural diplomacy course. Thank you very much for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.